Taurus Collective, Rose Warrior One, here with a message for you today. Make sure to take what resonates and leave the rest here. If you are returning or this is your first time, I just want to say thank you so much for any like, any share, any comment or subscription here, as that keeps the channel going, keeps the messages coming and spread out to those that it's meant to find. So if you are here today, Taurus, there could be something either in the beginning, the middle or the end of this message here that was meant for you to hear or meant for you to at least be open to okay holy spirit ancestors of the highest white light just guide me today lead me protect my vessel as well for the taurus collective as i read and embark on this energy here ashe and so we may begin for taurus if this resonates and you like a personal reading taurus my phone number to text me is down below as well as you could email both or either or whatever you're comfortable with here i love giving my personal readings out and offering that service here so go ahead and get your personal reading booked. Ashe. Let's go ahead and see what we have here for you, Taurus, on our message today. Awesome. So we have the tower here. Something could be changing in your life. I do feel that this can be a good thing. Or you could be moving on and moving forward towards something better. We do have the tower with Scorpio. So you could be a Scorpio sun, moon rising here or be dealing with a Scorpio type of frequency, right? This could also manifest in your situations. But if I call any energies out, Taurus, this could be for the people you're dealing with. This could be, like I said, manifested in a situation that's playing out in your experience. Or this could also be in your birth chart or someone that you're dealing with as well. Okay, so yeah, let's move forward here. I do see there's something dealing with relationships or connections to someone that's very important to you. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I do see that there's a lot of rainbow energy. So this could be two people who are very open-minded, two people who are very much so about unity, right? So you could be dealing with someone at this time, or you could be offered some assistance here in the spiritual realm as well. This is another message that I'm getting. This is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. So you are showing up in your reading here under the page of pentacles already. There could be something changing within your work experience. I do see two, three, four here. Where's my pen? I'm going to write that down. So you could be seeing 111. I was going to say 1111 intuitively, but you could be seeing 111 and 234 Taurus. And I'll tell you the two little downloads I had from earlier. But there's definitely something changing or turning for you abruptly. This could be a powerful chapter turning, a powerful page turning literally in your life here. Because this is a Scorpio situation. This is something that, that gives you internal transformation. And you also see it manifest in your outer experience as well, Taurus. This is what I'm getting here. The tower is number 16 in Major Arcana as well as it breaks down to a seven. Number seven speaks of divinity, intuition, learning lessons that deal with building your spiritual energy and expanding it. So you could be going through something that's really revolutionary internally and it is literally turning you upside down, sideways here and you are becoming this more powerful presence because of your ability to adapt and your ability to flow with whatever was occurring at this time. Because I do feel this water element with the two of cups and the tower here. You could have really been balancing a certain, you could have been balancing relationships and you could have been balancing work in some way, shape or form. And for some of you, there is this sense of unity coming in for you that could be quickly changing the way you view your life at this time or even view yourself. With this Page of Pentacles, you could be focused on balance at this time or you could be focused on the arts. You could be an artist as well as you could be heavily focused on the bag and making sure that you provide security for yourself during this time more than ever, really. I'm just feeling this energy from you as if you are truly working hard to build that life you want you want it to come into fruition so you are applying the energy and the work very masculine energy when it comes to applying that work mm -hmm. so for the tower we have nine of cups like i said this could be something changing abruptly that's very good for you the nine of cups is pisces cancer scorpio which 
matches the Scorpio in the tower here. So this is the ancestors, your guides here blessing you. This is the treasure chest opening up for you to receive financial abundance. Yes, but a wish fulfilled. You could be literally working on something. For some of you who I called out on dealing with relationships, you could be feeling more fulfilled within this relationship or feeling something turning for you as well as for some of you dealing with finances, monetary type stuff, the physical realm type stuff here. This situation could transpire or this energy could transpire in a way where you receive a gift or where you receive that promotion or you receive some influx of energy that comes in positively for you to have that breakthrough or for you to feel that something is being fulfilled in the now moment is what I'm getting whenever you're seeing this message, Taurus. That's beautiful too, because with this yellow, this is abundance and solar plexus. This is feeling confident in who you are and what you're giving and what you're also receiving. Because you can see this person has no fear, no doubts, no illusions. So you could be breaking this to these doubts, fears, or illusions at this time for some of you. I'm getting like eight of swords. I also saw four of swords too. You could be working on releasing doubts and releasing fears so you can receive page of pentacles ace of cups here came this is the same pisces cancer scorpio frequency here this is the water element coming through so yes lots of water in your reading you are definitely either hat you either you have these water elements within your chart system or within your personality that you deal with or work with or this is around you in some way because you have a lot of water around your auric field so things are changing within your heart space like i said you're opening up yourself to receive taurus you're learning to receive this is the page of pentacles or this is like the prince or the princess of pentacles of earth so there is this is a royal this is a part of the royal family. This is a part of a royal lineage is what I mean by a royal family. This is a royal aura here. Someone who comes off regal. Someone who comes off very, you can come off stoic, Taurus, but really you're playful. Really, you're not as serious as you may seem. Really, you're a lot more prone to this love than most of the people around you. When I say prone, you're, you're ran by Venus, right? This is the planet that rules your frequency, Taurus, as well as Libra. So you have this ability, just like Libra, to receive blessings, receive gifts, receive shifts in your reality when you open up your heart and when you choose the, the bright side of life, of thinking, of the perspective here. It's actually very inspiring, whoever I'm talking to today you are very inspiring to, to many people, even me here, because I'm watching someone really open their heart to relationships, really open their heart to the, the opportunities that are arising in front of them, whether this is job, spiritual, or something that gives you a chance to develop yourself here, like learning new skills, specifically learning new skills about how to love thyself, literally, and how to love someone else. I love this energy though. Two of Cups spirit. Seven of Pentacles, which is Taurus. The Deacon of Taurus here. Wanted to come out. We have Five of Pentacles here. Spirit said don't take it. But with that Five of Pentacles, you could have really been in a rut financially or even with a job or even your frequency when it came to self-belief. Because Five of Pentacles is feeling in lack, feeling like the door isn't unlocking for you. So something is unlocking now. This is what that tower is, is coming in to do to immediately remove what doesn't serve you. So you could have gone through situations where you were very confused at how something just zapped out of your life, either a friendship, either a job, or just something came in and swooped out of your life. It felt like in the blink of an eye with this tower energy. And then you realize that because you are able to stay humble, you're able to stay grateful, you're able to open up and receive, 
really everything was happening in your favor here with this nine of cups it was all happening for your wish to be fulfilled whatever could have been transformed dur during this tower moment here whatever upheaval you even face i don't see any negative energy where it overtook you for whoever i'm speaking to you if anything opened up even more here we have the wheel of fortune coming out for the two of cups here the wheel of fortune speaks of fixed sign energy here this also deals with all of the zodiac signs but specifically the wheel of fortune deals with aquarius scorpio taurus and leo so those specific frequencies personalities right those like i say here all the time literally i use this word a bunch energies right they can manifest in any way here but the fixed energy is knowledgeable leadership quality receiving for what you put out into the universe and how you serve humanity you receive so there's fortune coming here for someone who's either in a relationship dealing with connections this could even be business partnerships as well as this could be a platonic soulmate or a platonic friendship coming in like a soul tribe member literally you could feel like people that are landing in your life at this time they're just it's it's divinely appointed this is divinely meant to occur for you taurus let's tap in a little more here so yeah i see the tower and the nine of cups bringing in abundance for you page of pentacles and the ace of cups you are opening up here receiving new connections new love new light new light codes new downloads for you that for you out there who are high priestesses or high priests oracles in your own right as well similar to what i'm doing now just helping people with the gifts being offered to you you're opening your heart so they're expanding you're expanding two of cups and the wheel of fortune using your creativity using your connection your ability to connect with others as well and it's not that you're using it you're utilizing really projecting this intention you have of life and what you want out of life you're projecting it forward in the best light possible so you're receiving fortune and good karma is already due to you because of the good heart and the good nature you carry good heart and good nature literally with page of pentacles we have knight of swords coming out now could be dealing with a libra gemini or aquarius here we did mention aquarius with that wheel of fortune i see this nine of swords wants to come out and it did i did get a glimpse of it earlier while shuffling so this is the same energy the same suit air element suit the nine of swords here deals with anxiety so you definitely are overcoming a time of feeling anxious you are definitely moving quickly the knight of swords is a very very powerful person someone intelligent someone who this is also a royal a part of that royal family right of the royal kingdom here <laughs> this is someone who, who plays that role who has a royal role here in reality and life in the spiritual realm transitioning over and grounding into the physical the knight of swords is somebody intelligent but someone who can also make decisions very quickly this could be a uh, something that may get you in trouble sometimes when it comes to you make decisions very quickly because you're always on the go or you're always willing to rush into battle rush into war take that for what that's that resonates as right i just literally heard rush into battle rush into war just the knight of swords depicts usually a very powerful person who's never afraid because you trust your gut your intuition but at the same time spirit is asking you to find more groundedness here because this knight of swords has red on the bottom of his or her or their shoe as well as this divine feminine being depicted in the nine of swords has a red like dress or skirt on so there's something about the root chakra stability and the identity here that is developing and taking more energy in order to have and maintain self-belief 
So this could be self-belief coming through and you're starting to see manifestations form in your reality because of this self-belief now. So Knight of Swords to Three of Cups here. There could be word. Knight of Swords is also communication, a very communi a very intelligent and complex but intricate and articulate communicator. And I say complex because the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords, you have to really be on their level of understanding when it comes to the mind. It's a powerful mind. So people could be talking about you. People could be talking about the powerful person you are with this Three of Cups here. This is that soul tribe situation. This is that, I just heard congruence, but this is that congregation. I don't know why I heard congruence. So that could be significant or symbolic for somebody here. Because I always hear random things when I'm, especially when I'm reading for earth signs, I'll hear the ancestors call out certain things. So that could be for someone. One, five, five, five on the clock here. But there is unity. There is family bonds. Like I said, soulmates, soul tribe, connecting. Look at these three divine feminines or divine masculines here. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the three of cups. Like I said, you have water all up in your reading. Taurus, you're definitely in the water element, feeling powerfully motivated by your emotions, but you're using and transmuting what you've been through in life to propel you forward. Very, very, very awesome energy. I'm actually very happy you're my first reading of the day. I'm going to be posting this as well as I might do a few other Zodiac readings today. Feel free to watch my two, I posted two collective readings yesterday. So one of those could be for you. There's one called New Paths Forming and another one about divine intervention. If any of those titles resonate with you already, if, or if you feel a new path is forming for you, like what I'm seeing here, you're just seeing this path actually forming up quickly, abruptly almost, like you can't prepare for it. I've been saying that all week. That could be a message for you in that that oracle slash tarot reading for all signs. Your energy did come up with Taurus, the Hierophant came up. So it says, step into the unknown. This is your oracle pool. It says, curiosity keeps us heading down new paths. So take a chance. What did I just say? I literally said there could be something about a new path forming. This literally says, curiosity keeps us heading down new paths. So take a chance, step into the unknown. This is what you're already doing. You're already a new, you're already healing your inner child, you're doing the work. I want to say, Taurus, honestly, you're leading many people around you in energy. You are truly showing up in that hierophant or high priestess type of energy. You are somebody who motivates others. Your drive, your tenacity, your willingness to always find and see the positivity in a situation even if it isn't the best situation you still deal with it the way it needs to be dealt with realistically but you'll still step into the unknown with no fear you're learning that you don't have to fear anything you've always been blessed and gifted here so step into the unknown and do not fear is what is being told to you today this is your message taurus thank you all so much for your time Thank you so much if you made it to the end here, as not everyone does here. People have to only take what is theirs. So thank you if you are here at the end of this reading. If you'd like to donate to my channel or if you can't do anything but just like the video, that's the literally best and easiest way to support me and to support these messages to get to others. Peace, Taurus. I love you and happy you season happy Taurus season if you're watching this this was posted during Taurus season so happy birthday enjoy your solar return use that day and honor yourself and honor your skills and qualities as a person as a soul spirit but as a Taurus as someone who came to show people what Taurus brings to the table and you bring more than just money and you know financial success and all this beautiful stuff you bring light you bring energy right you bring big 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 emperor empress energy love you peace out